and Television Dude here, and I'm doing a pickups video. I haven't done a real pickups video in quite a while, and this is all the stuff I've gotten recently. Well, I can't say all of it because I know I'm gonna forget something. I, you know, I, I get so much stuff, and then it gets scattered right away, and I don't do immediate pickup videos anymore. So I don't know if I'm going to be showing everything. Plus, I'm going to show just a few goofy things as well. Uh, right off the bat is I finally got uh, a big box version. Well, it's actually kind of small for being a big box, but I guess that's what they call it. Big box version of Roller Coaster Tycoon 2, a game that I've loved for a long time and was so addicted to and becoming addicted to again. But I wanted to get the big box version. I wanted the, uh, the actual thing. The funny thing is, is I, uh, when I'm getting back into the game, I just downloaded the uh, triple pack off Amazon for 10 bucks, And I kind of prefer it that way because I'm getting all three games in one. Plus, uh, I don't got to have no disc spinning in my drive, which I think is a good thing as well. And then I bought this just for collectors to put this on the shelf. I wonder if I should try to get that sticker off. I probably can. I have an extra light source for extra light, and it's making everything glary now. Oh, well. I probably can get that sticker off. But I love this game so much. Uh... I showed this last time yesterday, so I just thought I'd show it again. The German version of Burger Time Bedrock. Flintstones Burger Time Bedrock. Uh, I've been trying to get, since I love Mario RPGs, now I'm trying to get some of the Japanese versions for no reason, just for, just because uh, they look cool. This is Super Mario, uh, 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 Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. Can't, can't speak today. Which I think is a real nice white slick box, I must say. I I should compare it to the other one, but I forgot to get it off the shelf. But oh well, you, you can Google it. I'll give you just a quick look here. Cartridge is white. The manual is like uh, just paper. It's colorful paper. But it's just paper, like easy to rip paper, which is cool. I'll put that away later. Uh, I bought Alice the Madness Returns. Uh, that's another funny story, is that I used to own the big box version of American McGee's Alice. And a side story is uh, the money that I got from selling that, plus a few other things, went to the digital camera that I bought around 2007-2008. And without that digital camera, I wouldn't have been, uh, wouldn't have had anything to shoot YouTube videos with when I started on YouTube in 2010. <laughs> so I do regret selling the big box American McGee's Alice. I, I should try to pick it up again. It's probably not too expensive. But with this game, if you buy this game absolutely free, you don't even need the download code anymore. Because this game with a download code to, to get the game. But for absolutely free, just by uh, installing this, well, I don't know, you probably don't even have to install it. Just have it in your CD drive. You can get American McGee's Alice. Just, you can download it to your Xbox 360. Uh, possibly PS3 as well. I don't know about the PS3. Probably. Since you could do it on this 360, I assume you could do it on the PS3. So I downloaded that as well. And this is a twisted, demented version of Alice in Wonderland. Oh, I hope my microphone's doing okay. It's my webcam microphone, which I think is not as good as the webcam microphone, microphone from my old webcam. A recommendation from a friend, Nino Kuni, Wrath of the White Witch. See, I stream, uh, I stream games on Twitch once in a while. Uh, oh my God, that's so bright, isn't it? Hold on here.
Can, can I change that while I'm recording? Let's see. I guess I can, can I? That's too low. I guess that's good right there. Yeah, recommendation, it's an RPG, I think, of some sort. I think it's an RPG, yeah, role-playing masterpiece. Even my friend Hunter says uh, this game is amazing. Or he heard it's amazing. I'm not sure if he played it or not. Uh, Super Spike V-Ball. Uh, I've always been a fan of Super Dodgeball. But I never picked up Super, Vike, Super Spike V-Ball. And it's kind of like that. It's kind of like Super Dodge Dodgeball of Volleyball. So I finally picked up that. Along with regular Mario Golf. I didn't, don't know why I didn't have regular Mario Golf. But now I do. Uh, you may or may not remember an old pickups video I did. Where I said I got ripped off. Because I bought a bootleg copy of... The Wizard of Oz. You may or may not remember that. You can tell right off the bat that the wizard does isn't supposed to be coming up over the side like that. The letters right here. But I finally picked up at a decent price the official real one, and you can tell that the side is it's not it's a uh, the proper color of uh, yellow yellow brick road. Well, the other one's white. The bootleg's white on the side. And the back looks nothing like it. This is the real one over here. I'm sure not going to try to sell the bootleg because I don't want to get no one coming after me. Well, I'll have to see what, what I'm going to do with it, though. You can tell uh, the cartridge looks a little bit more blurry. More light blue. I don't know if you can tell that. The manual even looks different. See the I put the top real one on top again, and the fake one down below. Not even the same picture. But like I said, the game actually played. <laughs> and speaking of bootlegs, I ran across another bootleg on accident. It just came in a random lot of games that I bought. And, uh, at first I thought, at first I didn't think it was a bootleg. I just thought with the three there that it was the European version. Because it says European up there. You open it up, it says European on there. So I was just assuming that it was just the European version, no big deal. Even though I thought it did look a little odd, a little blurry maybe. Maybe out of focus, just a tad. But on the back, it's got the, the ESRB rating, which is only... In America. <laughs> and it says Nintendo of America. So they really messed that up. It's European on the back. American on the front. <laughs> they really messed this one up. Nice going. Uh, two things that I forgot to show. Uh, in the pickups video I did with my friend Hunter. From a, what was it a month ago now? A month and a half ago? Probably all, it's about that. Because uh, uh, we went to a thrift store and I picked up both of these. Okay, Alice in Wonderland, which I hadn't seen yet. And uh, the Indiana Jones uh, trilogy. I think that this had a, a, some scratches, but not too bad. But, uh, you know, it's got uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark, Temple of Doom, Last Crusade. And the, it's a little bit of damage up here at the top. That's uh, okay. But I actually already owned the other version that I had bought some years ago. Which I think is the superior packaging. But I like the white though. I still like the white. The portrait is superior in every way. But there's something about the white I like as well. I, th I didn't pay much for this. So that's why I bought it. I think I paid... Uh, Somewhere between three to five dollars, I think. I, I think I talked them down on the price. So I, it's cool to have both versions. 
Uh, got this recently. A 191 and one uh, Famicom cartridge, which is filled with games, filled with games and crazy versions of games, crazy and super versions of games. See, it's got all the games, plus it's got these crazy and super versions of the same games. It's weird. Really, really weird. It's got everything. Star Soldier, Twin B, Galaga, Arkanoid. It's got a really weird version of Super Mario Brothers. Which is called... Uh, I don't know if I can... My eyes... I don't know if I can get my eyes to look. This wording is so small. Super, Superman, Super Tank. I don't see it. It's there, though. It's got a really crazy version of Super Mario World. And it is crazy. I mean, you, you walk and the ground just disappears. It's got a, it's got a ton of great NES games. All the Donkey Kongs. Uh, if you wonder what this is, this is a Famicom adapter that I made myself some years ago. I took uh, a Famicom adapter from a Gyromite. I think I, I took the cartridge and cut it down to shape. Which I I'm I'm one who hates destroying cartridges. I hate it so much. But I made a sacrifice for this. This strap came off of I don't know what, but I just had it laying around. Problem was, is I made that too thick, so it actually would not fit inside my NES. And I think I glued it too much up here and at an angle as well. So it wouldn't fit on my NES without taking the bar out. There's a bar that's attached to the top of the tray that clicks down. When I took the bar out, then I could get this in there. It still was a pain in the butt to get it in and out. But it works a little bit easier now that I got that new uh, blinking light wind thing. It fits in there easier. 